I'm back, bitches. What the fuck is up, you guys? If you're new here, hello. My name is Brittany. I hope you missed me because I know I missed you guys. So in today's video, we're going to go over all of our Sephora VIB sale recommendations. But before we get into that, I want to host a little giveaway for you guys for basically not forgetting about me because I still see all of you guys here. I see you guys all on my Instagram and you guys are just amazing and I just want to really kick this back off with a really good giveaway for you guys. So I have a big bag of samples in here, a Glam Glow mask, mascaras, concealers, Tom Ford lip balm, hair mask, a bunch of good stuff, a Violet Voss palette, just a ton of stuff I threw in here for one lucky winner. So all you have to do to enter in this giveaway is to leave a comment down below of your number one recommendation for the Sephora VIB sale. So your number one product, no questions asked if you were to buy one thing, that's what I want you guys to leave in the comment section. And if you're feeling froggy, you can go follow me over on my Instagram. <laughs> So I'm going to leave all the information in the description box of this video because we got enough shit to go over and I'm sure you guys have heard the dates and all that stuff in a million other videos because I'm pretty late to the game right now. But this was, I thought, the perfect time to come back because I love the Sephora VIB sale and this is like, I don't know, it's just such an exciting time for us like makeup junkies. Now I went on Instagram last night and I asked you guys how I should do this video because what I typically do is only talk about products that I personally would buy at Sephora. So there are a lot of products that are available at other retailers like Ulta, online, and stuff like that. I personally shop for very specific items at Sephora just because I feel like I get better incentives or like a better discount when I shop elsewhere. And if I could buy something at Ulta, I usually do. I probably will mention some products because I feel like they're absolutely amazing, but I will make sure that I mention where I would purchase them, you know what I mean? So I feel like that'll be most beneficial. So the first thing that I'm gonna start with is hair and then I'll go to skincare and then makeup and I will leave timestamps down below as well. So the first thing that I would recommend for hair care would be from one specific brand because they've literally changed my life and that is Olaplex. Ever since I've been blonde, my hair is insanely dry and this is a game changer. All of these Olaplex products are amazing. My personal favorites are the shampoo and the hair perfector. Now these are insanely expensive. Normally I recommend the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This is the mask that I would recommend. I love this stuff. It is a game changer. It is just, it does so much hydration and it like almost like repairs split ends. It's insane how good this stuff is. I think these are both $28. This one here is the shampoo. The shampoo is unlike any other shampoo I've ever used. A very little bit goes a long way. You only need to use like a quarter size of amount. And when I say that, I truly mean it. This stuff lathers. Like I'm one of those people that uses a big glob of shampoo because I like to really just get all the suds and stuff going in my hair. This you do not need a lot and it will still have that same effect. And you almost like feel it like coat your hair and just hydrate it. It's so bizarre, but it's so good. And then they recently came out with the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. I use this as like my leave-in conditioner pretty much. And then it helps with eliminating frizz, hydrates, and protects your hair as well. I love this stuff as well. So whenever I get out of the shower, I'll shampoo my hair. I will do this mask in the shower and then I'll rinse it out before I get out. And then before I brush out my hair, I will put this in. Like I kind of dry my hair to make it damp and then I'll just smooth this throughout all of my hair. It's amazing. And another thing that I love about both of these is I can use them on my roots as well. And it doesn't weigh down my hair or make my hair greasy. Olaplex has completely changed the game for me, especially being blonde with my hair being so dry. So definitely recommend them. They're very expensive, but I assure you they're worth every fucking penny. So that's all I'm going to just talk about for hair care. Now I'll get into skincare. So I'm going to kind of like jump around from like skin, body, face, all that stuff. So the first thing will be the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Roadhip Seed Oil. If you're looking for an amazing daytime oil, this is the one that I would choose. If you're looking for an amazing nighttime oil, I would recommend the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. There is nothing that I have found that compares to this. I will be getting one of these during the VIB sale because I think this is the best nighttime face oil. Both of these are amazing, but this one I think is better for daytime. I don't think it gives me a ton of hydration, but it gives me a really nice amount for day. And I never thought I would see the day that I actually wore 
and oil during the daytime. But when I first bought this, I bought it to see if it would compare to this. No, like there is no oil that touches this one yet. This I highly recommend. I love it, especially in collaboration with the uh, Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. That is like my number one face mask. I don't have one right here with me. I forgot it upstairs. If you're looking for an amazing face mask that helps with texture, that is the mask for you. And then put this on top of it. Oh, oh my god, it is so fucking good. I love both of those. I still buy that every single time. And when you buy the baby facial, you get one of these. I think it's this size. You get one of these included in that package. So amazing face mask. I love both of those products. Those are my top two products from Drunk Elephant that I love so much. And then let's just get Sol de Janeiro out of the way because it's springtime. So Drunk Elephant, everybody knows they have the most amazing body lotion. It smells amazing. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Fucking love this stuff, especially for spring, summertime. This is the scent that I use for this time of year. If I'm going winter, fall, I go for the Coco Cabana. Both of them are amazing. This is like a true body lotion, but the smell is intoxicatingly so good. And then I also love this Coco Cabana Bronze Glow Oil. This is what I have on my chest right now. You really can't see how truly beautiful it is on camera because I have all these lights going. But trust me, this gives you a really nice bronze to the skin. Like, you'll see it. I'll show you guys me applying it. It just looks and smells so good. And it smells just like the Boom Boom Cream. Highly recommend both of those. Sol de Janeiro is one of my favorite for, like, body hair during this time of year because of the scent alone. Love it. I also love the shower gel. I love basically everything Sol de Janeiro. So if you're in the market for something body Definitely check out this brand, but these are like my top two products for this time of year. So the next thing will be the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is a game changer for hydration for the face. I really love this. I put this on at night and it just transforms my skin. That's the easiest way to explain it. If anything, it really helps balance my skin. I love it. I've talked about it a million times on this channel, so I won't say too much about it. And then the next thing is going to be the Belief Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. I think this will be amazing, especially for summertime. If you get burned, which I am one of those people, I'm like, fry me. I love being in the sun. This will be so good because it has like that jelly consistency. If you put this in like a cooling area, oh my god, it would be so good. This, I just love the smell. I love Belief products. I love the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I love the... Uh, moisturizing bomb like their moisturizers are amazing so I would definitely recommend this one as well that one I just loved how long lasting it was because it seemed like this lasted me a really long time it lasted me longer than the jet lag mask did they're both very different though this is a jelly consistency where this is more of like a thick creamy consistency I love both of them though they're both amazing for sleeping masks so I would definitely recommend both all right so the next thing that I'll talk about is lip care now I have two products now you've probably heard everybody and their mother talk about the Laneige lip sleeping mask and it's for good reason this is an amazing 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 nighttime and daytime lip treatment but the only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that it's in this pot I like wearing this more during the day because it just makes your lips look so beautiful and it's so hydrating it's just Overall, a really nice product, but for when I'm like out and about, I always go for this Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. I heard Makeup by Cheryl talk about this all the time, and I fucking love this. I'm so glad that I got it. The only thing that I don't like about it is it has a very florally scent. Now, I can't remember if it was her or somebody else. They said that they didn't realize that, like they didn't notice it at all. I notice it right off the bat. It has a very floral scent and it does have the taste as well. I wish they would change that because I love my lips to taste good when I have like a lip care product on. But overall, it doesn't really linger so it doesn't bother me that much. It's just if I were to choose between like scents, I would choose Laneige. But I feel like this is such an amazing formula. So I really love this for daytime. This is like my go-to purse lip treatment. So I really love both of these, so I would definitely recommend both. These actually really surprised me. I see everybody talk about it, and I'm like, those are kind of gimmicky. I didn't really think they worked. So these are the Peace Out Acne Healing Dots. This I bought in like a little bundle package. This is what everything came in, and then you got two packets of these. You got like pore strips and then eye, like eye patches. These were the standout in this little gift set, but if you were interested in trying more than just the acne spots, this would be the way to go. I think this was 25 bucks and you got all this stuff. 
These lasted me a really long time. These are just like little sticker dots you pull over your blemish and I swear to God you wake up and it's gone. And you can actually like see it on the dot because you peel off the dot when you wake up, you know? You would actually almost like see it in the dot where the blemish like came out. It's so weird and it's like one of those aesthetically pleasing things like almost like pimple popper videos. Like you would just peel it off and you'd see like the white dot on it. And you're like, oh, it feels like it just sucked out the, the, the blemish, you know? So I really love these. They really surprised me. I thought they were totally gimmicky, but they actually do work. Those are my current number one spot treatments right now. So I'll most likely be picking up more of these during the VIB sale. So next thing is going to be a facial toner and if you don't like the smell of roses don't even bother with this but this is a really nice hydration toner. So this is the fresh rose deep hydration facial toner. I love the smell of roses and this is such a beautiful formula. It smells so good. It smells like a fresh bouquet of roses so beautiful and it just feels really nice on the skin so i use this during the daytime and nighttime it just gives my skin a little bit more hydration it's not like groundbreaking i don't feel like it's an absolute must but if you're looking for that like little bit of luxury you want a little bit more hydration i would definitely go for this one and then another standout product for me recently is this ole henriksen or ole henriksen i always say it wrong the banana bright eye cream I will be doing a review on this. I've been trying it for, I don't even know what day I'm on right now, but I am noticing differences. So I did a Drunk Elephant, the Sea Tango like eye cream. I did that video before. I will leave that up here if you guys wanna watch that, but this is the one that I'm on now and I'm really, really liking it and I am noticing a difference. So I would definitely recommend this. I really like this mainly for daytime because it gives you such a beautiful luminosity under your eyes and that's something that I really look for because I do have fine lines under my eyes. Another one that I noticed that does that is the Origins one. It's got like a peachy color, whereas this one is going to be a yellow tint. I honestly like both of them. I think this gives a little bit of brightening. I think people kind of exaggerate the brightening that it gives. I don't notice a huge amount of brightening. With the Origins one though, I feel like it will be better if you have darkness under your eyes because the like peachy color will help cancel out. So I recommend both of those. This is just the one that I've been trying. I think it's beautiful. I really like the formula on it. And then another thing I've been trying recently, and I think I'm going to pick up one of these during the VIB sale, is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I've been eyeing this and I fucking love Tatcha. Their products smell so good, I cannot get over it. This gives you the ultimate dew. Like if you're looking for dewy skin, this, this is what you want right here. It makes your skin look so dewy and you barely need any product. Like. You need the smallest amount and a little goes a long way. You just work it into your skin. It's just like, ah, oh, just everything about Tatcha is just so good. I really love this. I've been using it for like the past week and I'll show you how much, like I still have quite a bit left in there and I've been using this for daytime and nighttime for the past week. So I haven't been using it that long, but it hasn't broken me out. I think my skin looks phenomenal. So I'll probably be picking this up during the VIB sale. I've been really liking it so far. And then the last skincare product I want to mention because I don't hear anybody ever talk about this face mask and I think it's fucking amazing. It's the Origins Dragon Fruit Brightening Super Fruit Mask. So good. If you're looking for hydration and exfoliating, boom, bitch, this is what you want. It is so good. It makes my skin feel so hydrated. So what I do, I apply it all over my face. I let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes or sometimes even longer. And then it doesn't like dry down or anything like that so it always stays like super moist <laughs> i know people love that word but then when you rinse it off you work it into your skin and it's got those little beads in it so you get a nice exfoliating so it makes your skin look brighter it makes your skin more hydrated this is one of the best masks i've ever heard about and i feel like nobody ever talks about it i do want to try another one by origins i think it's like a thirsty mask or something it's supposed to be another hydration mask but this one is amazing. I was not expecting to like this at all. I've been blown away by this mask. I actually think I mentioned this in my Best in Beauty for 2018 video as well. So a lot of these products actually were probably in that video too, but this is still a standout product for me for my skincare. So I really love this mask. Bitch is thirsty. Now let's talk about some makeup. All right, so getting into makeup, I'm going to first start with my makeup brushes. So. Four brushes that I highly recommend are from the Sephora Pro Collection. So the first one will be the Sephora 55. This one is the Sephora 38. This is a crease brush. 
the Sephora 90, I use this for blush, and then the Sephora 92, I use this for bronzer. I bought these three brushes right here back probably like six months ago maybe. I did a haul video on these, I think. These brushes I've been loving ever since, and then I've had this 55 brush for I don't even know how long. It's been years at this point. These are fucking amazing brushes. They're some of the most soft and just beautiful brushes. They apply everything so seamless. These are like top in my collection right now. And then another brush that I love from Sephora is the NARS Eda brush. I've talked about this before. It's insanely expensive. I do have one brush that's damn near identical to it from Amazon for like $4. But this brush is so nice for contouring because it's like dummy proof. If you have a hard time with contouring and you want either like a razor sharp contour or if you want something super natural like I have today, this brush makes contouring so easy. So I do recommend buying the $4 Amazon brush before this one, but I bought that one first. I fell in love with it because I wasn't sure if I would really like the shape of it or anything. And then I do think that this one is a lot softer and it just applies everything more seamless than that $4 brush. So I still recommend like start with that one, see if you like it. And then if you love it like I did, that would be when I would invest in the NARS Eda brush. This is the time to buy stuff like this though. Like if you've been eyeing this brush for a long time, if you've been eyeing these expensive Sephora brushes for a while, take advantage of that 20% because NARS and Sephora, this is the only time they ever go on sale. So that's how I personally always shop for the sale. Like Tom Ford, big brands like that, like luxury brands, Hourglass, Charlotte Tilbury, brands like that that very rarely go on sale. This is the time to take advantage of them. So the next thing will be my brush cleaner. So this is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. The best spot cleaner for your makeup brushes, period. I always buy one of these during the sale. This will last me all of six months, sometimes a year. So I recommend this. You can buy smaller bottles. Sometimes I get like the little spray bottles. I buy just the spray bottles at like the dollar store now and just fill this with that. But if you've never tried this before, they sell, I think, the spray bottle size. They sell like an eight ounce size. I want to say there's like one in between the eight ounce and this one and then the big one. The big one you do have to buy online and then the other smaller ones. I think they have like a kit in store where they have like the eight ounce and then a little Cinema Secrets tin. That's a really good way to try out this product, but this is my number one spot cleaner for my makeup brushes. I just went through and did everything last night, so I love this stuff. This will go in my little empties container, and then we'll move on to face primer, because I'm going to go in the order that I would typically apply everything. So the number one face primer that I would recommend from the sale is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Now, a lot of people say that this makes like your skin almost like pill. Like if you apply too much of this, it will do that. You'll get that like little white residue on your face. I take the smallest amount and I apply it to certain areas and I really press it into the skin. I try not to really swipe it too much because when I do that, that's when I notice I get those like white flakes or if I apply too much. So I always like apply it with my finger. I don't really use the disc anymore. And then I'll just press it right into the skin. This is face tune in a compact, I swear to God. This does amazing things for my skin because I do have very large pores. And this, I always work in my under eyes and then in this area right here and then across my nose and then a little bit on my forehead. This has been a game changer. I love it. It's expensive. They do have a mini size. I would recommend buy the mini size because it's 20 bucks. That will last you a really long time. Like I've had this for months at this point. Still have a ton of product left. So I would recommend buy the mini or if you're looking at these higher priced items, see if there's a mini size. See if there's like a value set and stuff like that. But this I highly recommend. It's hyped up for a damn good reason. And then the next thing that I'll talk about are concealers. Now the number one concealer that I would recommend is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer and I don't have one right now. I will be picking one up for the VIB sale. And then I also recommend the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is more of a full coverage. I would say it's like medium to full coverage. It blends out super easy. It's what I use today. It's a beautiful concealer. I personally would always buy this at Ulta as well as all Too Faced products, but these are available at Sephora. They did just expand their range as well. I really love this foundation as well, but if I were to pick a concealer from Sephora to buy during the sale, it would be the Sephora one. It is more of a light to medium coverage concealer, but it makes the most beautiful under eyes. Like it has the little bit of luminosity to it and I don't really have dark circles or anything like that. I would say if you have dark circles, I would probably go for this one. But if you really don't have that problem, it just 
looks so beautiful on my liney under eyes. I feel like it would be a really beautiful concealer for mature skin as well. That Sephora one just really surprised me. It's really nicely priced, and then to get the 20% off on top of that, pff, why not? But these concealers here, the Too Faced ones, you get such a good amount of product. Like, And you can use these as a foundation because you get so much product. It's just this one here is a really good value, a really good product. But the Born This Way concealer and foundation are both staples in my collection. And then I'll move on to foundation. So I'll blow through this one really quick because I would typically not buy this at Sephora. The Lancome Tight Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I think this has like three different names, but if it looks like this, this is the one I'm talking about. I think it's called the Ultra Wear Foundation. This is such a beautiful foundation, especially for this time of the year. It makes your skin just look so natural. It has really nice finish, really nice coverage. I would say it's like a medium coverage, but I've done a wear test on this and it just, it wears beautifully. This is one of my favorite liquid foundations. So I would typically buy that at Ulta. That's why I'm just mentioning it really quick. But if you're looking for a matte, flawless looking foundation, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation is beautiful. This could go two very different ways. Like this, if you use too much, it will look very heavy and very cakey. But if you use just the right amount of it, it makes your skin look flawless. And if that's what you're going for, this is the one you want. If you like that matte full coverage, boom, in your face, like this is it. So beautiful, I really love it. And especially for this time of the year, I know a lot of people tend to get more oily. This would be a really nice option if you have oily skin. If you're more like normal to dry, this would be the one that I would recommend. This is what is on my skin right now. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I have the shade Warm Beige. I am debating if I want to get the, um, the liquid version. This is so beautiful though. If you have oily skin, I don't know if you would love this because it is a stick foundation, but my skin looks bomb. This is a beautiful foundation. You need a very small amount. It's just beautiful. It blends out really nicely with a brush or a sponge. One of my favorite foundations. I love it. If you're new here, hello, my name is Brittany and I'm addicted to Hourglass Everything. They're my favorite brand. They're the most consistent brand for me. So you're going to hear about Hourglass a lot in today's video. <laughs> so a few months back, Samantha Ravindahl completely like changed my life and changed my entire makeup routine. So now I started using like cream blushes, cream highlights, liquid highlights and stuff like that. These I've, I don't think I've ever mentioned before on my channel. So I picked this up during the last VIB sale. This is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick in the shade Work. This is a beautiful cream blush. It's so easy to work with. You could obviously see it swatch right there. This is what's under my powder highlight right now. This is beautiful and I just love these Milk Makeup Sticks. I think they're such a beautiful product and they're so easy to work with. I would recommend check the mini sizes of these. I think they have minis in everything except for the bronzer stick, which is something I'm eyeing for the sale. But these, I've just been really amazed by these because they just look so nice on the skin. So I really like a lot of these. I'm gonna mention this Milk Makeup. The highlighter stick in the shade Lit as well is so beautiful. This is one of the highlights that's on my cheekbones right now. I did a bunch of them just so you guys could see everything showcased on my skin. These are just so nice and I think the mini sizes retail for $14, but also check for Milk Makeup. They do kits all the time as well. So I would definitely check out this brand. I'm really eyeing the bronzer stick though because of how impressed I've been with these. Now these are so underrated. I've heard Katie talk about these before. So these I'll talk about first. These are the Sephora... What are these called? Radiant Luminizing Drops. I have the shade Ultra Light and the shade Morning Light. Morning Light is the one I have on today. These are so beautiful. And I don't understand why you don't hear really anybody talk about these because of how beautiful they are. And so inexpensive. I think I got these on sale for $7 when they were just randomly on sale at Sephora. But they're still only like $12 or $14. I'll give you guys swatches of these just so you guys could see them. But these are another amazing super easy to work with, just beautiful type of highlight. I really like these as well because you can mix them with foundations. You could just do so much. You could put them all over your body. They're just a really nice universal product. So I really do like these. And then this one, I kind of stumbled upon by accident and then I fell in love with it because I just kept staring at it. So this is the Sephora Bright Future Radiant Luminizer. So this is actually what the concealer looks like as well, like same type of packaging. Really like the packaging and I love the applicators on these. I'll give you guys a swatch of this as well. This gives you more of like that lit from within type of glow. I put this actually on top of my foundation. 
so you can actually see that it works on top of foundation as well. It's going to be right here, so it's much more subtle, but it gives you a really nice, beautiful highlight. And on top of everything that I had on, it really like emphasized it a little bit more and it helped everything kind of like melt in the skin, at least in my opinion. But I really like all these. I think they're beautiful. And thank you, Samantha Robindale, for completely changing my life with my makeup routine. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing I'll talk about are my loose powders. So the first one will be the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I typically would not purchase this at Sephora. I would usually buy this at Macy's, but it really doesn't matter because they're both usually 20% off anyways. So I recommend this one. I think it's beautiful. It's what's on the center of my face. I use this for the center of my face because I get really oily in the center of my face, especially on my nose. And this just blurs everything. It looks beautiful. But I also really love the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I feel like this is better for me for the perimeters of my face. But I know not everybody's extra and wants to use two separate powders. If I were to pick one to buy during the sale, it would probably be the Hourglass one because this is the only time that you'll get it. But if you're looking for a more mattifying blurring powder, I would go for this one. But if you want that more luminous, just like lit from within type of look, I would go for the Hourglass. So I don't think you can go wrong with Hourglass. I'm going to say that probably a million times throughout this video, but I think those are both really beautiful powders. And then if you like a pressed powder better, I think this is a really beautiful powder as well. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact, and then I have the shade 4. This is a beautiful setting powder. I think it's really nice for under the eyes because it's really lightweight and it gives you that like, it gives you a luminosity, but not really like, it's more of like a satin, I think. You can't really see it on my hand at all, but it just makes your skin look healthy. And it's just a really nice powder. I really do like this. I heard Jacqueline Hill talk about it like years ago at this point, but I do really like this powder. And then if you want that more lit from within type of look, this is like, the perfect bridal makeup product. This is such a beautiful powder, but I don't feel like it's like a setting powder. I feel like this is something that you dust over the makeup after you're done, and it just gives you that just like an angel kissed your face type of look. It's so beautiful. It's from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Light Powder in the shade Luminous Light. I feel like it's really universal. A lot of different skin tones can use it, and it's just, it's so beautiful. I don't think a swatch will even do it justice because it's one of those products, it doesn't really look like it does anything. It's going to be over here. It just gives you that little bit of luminosity, but it's not that product that I could put all over my face. It's just like a dusting around the perimeters and that's it. So something so bougie and so expensive for something so little, but it makes such a difference, at least to me. I really love Hourglass products. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to talk about bronzers and let's talk about the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. This is my go-to for contour, bronze, anything. This is the perfect shade for me. It's very neutral. It's just the most perfect contour. It's what's on my cheeks right now. So beautiful. I'm so glad that they made this permanent. So if you've been eyeing Marc Jacobs, this is really the only time that they ever go on sale aside from the Marc Jacobs website. So this is one that I would definitely recommend. I do really like the fact that I can contour and bronze with it. But if I'm looking for that bronzy, just like orangey kind of bronze, like that's what I like. I like an orangey bronze like I have right now. And that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. This is my perfect bronzer. I use this all the time. Here's the thing that I want to mention about Hourglass bronzers and Hourglass products in general, they're so expensive. I've had this for like four or five years at this point. I've had this forever and I still have so much product. Like they're so worth the price because they last. They last so long and I truly feel like Hourglass is so unmatched and no, this is not sponsored, but Hourglass, if you want to sponsor me, hey girl. And then I'll actually stick with Hourglass because why not? The Hourglass blushes are phenomenal. So beautiful. This is the one that's on my cheeks right now. This is the shade Luminous Flush for the Ambient Lighting Blush. They just have that luminosity that's just very skin-like, very like lit from the end, all that good stuff. Very appropriate for mature skin as well. I just, I love it. I feel like Luminous Flush is like the perfect just everyday type of blush. I'll probably pick up another one of these too. They do have minis, but the val they have a better value for this size. I think the minis are 30 or no, not 30. They're I think the minis are $24 and these are like 38 or 32. You get way more product with these, so I would say if you're getting the 20% off, just go for the bigger one. At least that's what I would do because like I said, they're going to last a really long time, so it's worth the investment. If you see this in store, grab it. I don't even care. 
the Hourglass Ambient on Lock Palette. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I don't think it's available online anymore. This is such a beautiful, perfect for summer face palette. Need I say more? I've talked about this a million times, so that's all I'm going to say about it. Just if you see it, get it. It's so beautiful. Really love that. I could use all the shades in that palette, so that's why I really like it. And then I'll go into highlighter. So we'll just get Hourglass out of the way because you guys know it's coming. I'm sorry. I just, I love this brand so much. So this palette's not available anymore, but these are available individually. The Ambient Metallic Strobing Powders. These are so beautiful. They're not what's on my skin, but I wear these all the time. I wish this was permanent because this was such a beautiful palette. But like I said, these are available individually. They're just really beautiful. They can be subtle, but then they can be like bam in your face. So it depends on the shade, at least from what I've noticed. But those are beautiful. Those are some of my favorites. But this is the time I would take advantage of Dior. Dior never goes on sale, okay? Ever, 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 never. This palette is so beautiful and I love it so much. It's one of my favorites in my collection. I love this palette. I love that I could use, I would say almost every shade. I don't really think I can get away with this shade yet. Maybe during the summer I will be able to, but this was such a beautiful palette. These are some of my favorite highlighters and I really love this one as well. I got this for my birthday, I think two years ago. This is going to be the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in the shade 003. Oh, this is the powder highlight that's on my cheeks right now. When you first apply it, it's like whew, bam in your face. It looks so beautiful. I toned it down with using a sponge and then just kind of like layering things and just, oh, I don't know, I just, I love, you see that? Just radiance. And then another highlight that I love, but I don't use it as like a cheek highlight all the time. This Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb in the shade How Many Carrots. This is beautiful. I have this all over my chest right now, but you, you can't really see it. It's so beautiful. I'll try to put some over my cheeks. It just gives you like that wet, but diamond. It just looks like, like tiny diamonds all over your face. And I thought this would look so crazy on my skin because I do have texture. It doesn't. It looks so beautiful. I hope you guys can see it. It just gives you like that little bit of sparkle. It's so pretty. The packaging is everything. Fenty kills it. I'm eyeing the Fenty bronzers right now. <laughs> and then the next thing is going to be some face mist or body mist. The first one I'll talk about is like my makeup setting spray. So this will be the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. This is like hairspray for your face. I talked about this in my Best in Beauty 2018. Beautiful facial spray. I really love that one. I also love the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Setting Spray, but if I were to shop at Sephora, this is the one I would get. I really love that because it gives me like a dewiness to my skin. It doesn't make me flat or anything. I use a lot of powders, so I like that because it really just melts everything and makes everything look super natural. And then when I went in on the top of everything, like when I was completely done, I hit all the high points of my face with the Sephora Perfection Mist Nude Glow in the shade Universal. I heard Desi Perkins talk about this forever ago, and as soon as I saw what it did for her, I instantly went on and bought it. It just gives you that luminous shift to the skin. It makes it almost look wet. Super beautiful, really nice for this time of year because we're all trying to live that glowy life. So I really love this, especially. It reminds me of those new Patrick Ta ones, but I think his are more pigmented, whereas this one just gives you like that almost like an oil finish, but it's not oil. So now let's move on to my eyeshadow palettes. So this one's pretty controversial and I fucking love this palette. This is partially what's on my eyes right now. Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. I fucking love this. I think it's so beautiful for this time of year. I love the packaging on it. This color story is just everything. Don't get me wrong, there are, I would say like two duds in this palette. I think these two here are not my favorite, the blue and the green. But the mattes in here I think are beautiful. I used the shade Fake Tan in my crease today. This is just a beautiful palette. For $129, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money if it has duds in it. That's just my preference. I think they are duds, but I can make them work. But I just think this is like the perfect color story for this time of year. So I really still recommend this. I know it was very controversial for a while. And then another one I'm surprised I haven't really heard anybody talk about is the Huda Beauty New Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I think this is beautiful. If you're looking for those mauve tones, you can't get any better of a palette for mauve tones. I mean, this is perfect. The only thing that I find is a lot of the looks come out 
similar when I use this, but I really like how it has the different textures and everything. I think the mattes are beautiful. I wish she didn't put the concealer in there, but this palette has actually made me want to try especially the Desert Dust palette. I think that is such a beautiful color story, so I'm kind of buying that. I don't know. I really don't need any more eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I don't really need any more makeup, period, but this has really changed my mind for Huda Beauty eyeshadow, so I do really like this one, but one of my favorites, and I'm only mentioning this because I know some people don't shop at Ulta, the Sultry palette. Anastasia Beverly Hills killed it with this palette. I think it's so beautiful. This is like the perfect basic bitch eyeshadow palette. Like, if you need a palette that's just like everyday appropriate, you have like your pop of color, super easy to work with, the metallics in it are beautiful. This is a really, really beautiful palette. Some of my favorite looks have come from this palette. I really like Anastasia's palettes and I think the packaging on this is everything but this is one that I would not typically buy at Sephora I would buy this at Ulta so that's just my little peace of mind on that and then I'll just talk about a couple individual shades for a real quick second so the first one will be the Marc Jacobs sequins glam glitter eyeshadow I have the shade glam noir I don't know if these are still available because I do believe that these were a holiday thing but I know there's other shades so I have glam noir which is like wet asphalt black it's so freaking beautiful it's so different for my collection this is what that shade looks like just the way it looks in the eyes is so beautiful i love just throwing this on the lid and smoking it out it's just like oh it's so good i love it so much and then what's on my eyes right now is the hourglass scattered light glitter eyeshadow in the shade foil this is like a true gold foiled shadow they're so beautiful hope you can see it i also have the shade reflect I say this all the time, I'm like, I will own every one of these. The next one I want is I think the shade Smoke. Oh, they're, they're just so beautiful. They're so beautiful and just so unique. I'll swatch the shade Reflect just so you guys can see it. I feel like this is like the perfect like every day. The only thing that I don't like about these is the packaging, how it's really hard to get your finger in there. This is going to be the shade Reflect on here. These are so buildable though. Like when you first apply them, they're kind of like sheer and just like a touch of glitter, but then you could build them up to be like bam in your face. I really love, especially reflect for like day to day, but <sighs> foil, oh, it's so beautiful. These are also beautiful. And then the next thing we'll talk about is mascara. <laughs> Hourglass Extreme Lash Mascara. I really love this. I just have the mini. I may pick up the full size. I'm not really sure yet. I did see that they have like a little lash like a Sephora lash kind of thing and then you get like a gift certificate for one of the full sizes in there. I'm eyeing that because the Caution Mascara is one of those in there. I really like this because it separates my lashes. It makes them look exactly like I like them to. It doesn't really volumize or anything like that but I like that I can get my bottom lashes with this as well. So this is one of my favorites at Sephora. And then I also really like the Ciate Wanderlust I think it's called. It reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex but if I were to pick one the Caution Mascara is the one I prefer. And then let's talk about some eye and lip liners. So my eyeliners, Marc Jacobs highlighters are some of my favorites, especially the brown and the pink. The shade pink of me is I feel like the most unique. I really like this brown too because I have a really hard time finding a good brown eyeliner. So if you know any other ones, let a ho know. But this one in the shade brownie is really nice. And then for my black liner, I love the Ardency and Monster liner. I know that Marc Jacobs has a black liner in these, but this one is a little bit less expensive and it's super black. It does not budge. It's a beautiful, just creamy black liner. And then this is one of my favorite lip liners. I never was really a lip liner bitch until recently. The Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. This is the shade 14C. This is what's on my lips right now. So beautiful. They like, they're so weird because it's like they're creamy, but they're tough and they don't budge on the lips. I just totally licked my finger right there. But these are just really beautiful lip liners. Those, I really wanna get more of those because I'm just, every time I use it, I'm blown away. Actually, when I got my first like Sephora makeover, she used this on me and I've had it ever since. <laughs> because they just, it works so well. They have a huge selection. So I do wanna dive more into Makeup Forever because it's not a brand that I really purchase often. And then I'll talk about brows real quick. This is the first time I've ever used this product, so I'm going to like recommend it loosely, but I'm like loving it already. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade, and I have the shade Brown Sugar. It's soft, medium brown. I loved this. I really liked how it had like the 
almost like the felt tip on the end. Only thing that's missing out of this is a spoolie. That's the only thing that I need for my brows. But I really like this. It made it really easy to like get those hair-like strokes and then you could shape your brow really easily with the other side, like the pencil side. I really like this for the first time using it. So normally I would recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, but I wanted to throw this one in there because I was like, oh shit, I really like that. So my next brow product will be the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. I love this stuff. It gives you that little bit of extra coverage that, I mean, most people look for in a brow gel. Your brows really don't budge. It just looks really natural and it's just a really nice brow gel. And now let's get into lip products and then we'll be done because <laughs> I feel like I've been here forever talking to you guys. So I'll start with, um, I already did the lip liner, so we'll go into lipsticks. One of them is available at Ulta, but it's literally my favorite lipstick formula. That's the only reason why I'm mentioning it. And that's the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. These are so amazing. I have three shades. I have Barbara, Anna, and Anita. I'll swatch all of these for you. But these are like, if you're looking for just a creamy, pigmented, and just really comfortable lipstick, I feel like for being creamy, these are so long lasting too. Oh, they're just so, so beautiful. And they're like one swipe application. So, so good. I'm telling you, these are my favorite lipstick formulas of all time because they just, they don't look funky on your lips either. They just look beautiful on the lips. So we have Anita is going to be this one over here. Looking at them on my hand, they look so similar, but on the lips, they look so different. And then we have Barbara is on the other side, and then Anna is on the center, I believe. Let me double check before I tell you guys. Yes, that was right. So that's those three there. Really, really beautiful. I'll show you guys like a live swatch just so you can see. So this will be the shade Barbara. It's like one swipe full pigment. I'm telling you, they're so beautiful. They're so comfortable on the lips. So these are one of my favorite lipstick formulas. Let me wipe this off really quick and then I'll show you more swatches because I'm in the mood to have a little swatch party, okay? All right, so this next lipstick, I think I have like 10 in my collection, but I pulled two specific colors for this time of the year because they're so beautiful. They're one of my favorite formulas as well. These are the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash lipsticks. I personally would buy these on probably Tarte's website. I don't believe these are available at Ulta, so Sephora I think is the only retailer that carries them in store. But oh my god, this is going to be the shade Salt Life. That shade is everything. So many people love this and it's like every time I wear it people are asking me what is the shade that's on my lips and what formula. So that is one of my favorites and then this one is like the perfect spring summer. This is the shade Daiquiri. Bitch! Oh it's so good! That is like that's gonna be my jam for the summer. I'm like so into like the coral lips and everything this year. So you'll probably be seeing that a lot, but I really love this formula. It's really long lasting and just really comfortable on the lips. Full pigment, really love that one. And then the last lipstick I'm gonna mention is one that I'm actually eyeing for the VIB sale as well. These are from Charlotte Tilbury. These are the Matte Revolution lipsticks. I have the shade Pillow Talk and oh my God, this is such a beautiful lipstick. Normally, I don't like bullets with like funky applications. Like I like to have like a pointed tip, but this formula is everything. So this is going to be the shade Pillow Talk. It's going to be this one right here. Sorry to flip you off. It's so long lasting and it's so natural. That's actually what's over like the top of that lip liner. So I have this lip liner with this and then a gloss on top. And that's the lip cocktail that I have. This is one of the longest lasting lipsticks that I've ever tried. And it's like, it's matte but it doesn't dry out your lips matte. So it's a really beautiful formula. Packaging is everything as well as the Tarte ones. Like I love the packaging on all of these. And if you guys saw this one, this was a limited edition packaging. So most of the time the packaging will be the black for the NARS, but this is just, it's so bougie. Charlotte Tilbury is one of those brands that I'm really eyeing because they give me like the hourglass vibes where they're like very natural looking, just like luminous skin, just, that's like the vibe I'm going for. So those are the, like, that's the one brand that I'm eyeing a lot for the sale. And then let's get into some liquid lipsticks. So my current favorite liquid lipstick formula is the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint. And my favorite one is the shade Uncuffed. They have, I think, four new shades. I'm really looking at the coral shade, go figure. But that's like the products that I'm eyeing right now, just because of the time of year. So this is going to be a swatch of the shade Uncuffed. 
pulls a lot darker. I actually really like mixing the shade Unbutton with it. It gives you a really nice just neutral looking nude. So this will be the shade Unbutton right here. Like mixing those two together, it's, it's perfect. I really love those two. I don't really wear Unbutton by itself because it's like concealer lips on me, but over a nice lip liner. Ooh, yes, bitch. So this formula is one of my favorites for liquid lipsticks. And then I also love the Sephora Collection liquid lipsticks. These I feel like are so slept on and they're so beautiful. The packaging isn't the best, but the product inside is so good. They're so pigmented, really comfortable on the lips. So this will be the shade 37 right here. That's more of like a cool toned, almost like grayish purple. Then we have the shade 23. I feel like this is the one that I wear the most. I do feel like these dry out pretty easily though. That's the only downfall with these. That'll be the shade 23 right there. That's probably my most worn. And then these I feel like are so nice for spring and summer. So this will be the shade 09. This one's straight neon. I got these last year and I never even wore them. This one is a little bit more sheer, but if you layer it, like these layer really nicely and that has more of a neon look to it. And then this last one is gonna be the shade 03. Oh, these are just so good and they smell amazing. This almost looks like a liquid lipstick version of the shade Daiquiri from the Tarte lipsticks, just a little bit darker. So that's going to be the four Sephora ones down there, but these ugh, formula is so good. Smell like cupcakes. I'm totally with that. So I really love those liquid lipsticks. Let me wipe those off and then we'll get into some glosses because I'm a glossy bitch. And then I think we're going to be done and hopefully I don't forget anything because that's one thing I'm so known to do is forget products that I recommend because I get so into just getting all these out there and it's so much to cover. It's so much to talk about. All right, so glosses. First one will be the Sephora Outrageous Effect Volume Plump Lip Gloss. I have the shade 06, but they have one. It's like a perfect nude or a clear. These are so nice and just juicy. Oh my God. I feel like this one is going to be really nice for spring because it's like a true pink gloss. Like that's like glass lips, so beautiful. And then I actually need to get another one of these because it's kind of looking janky. This is the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer in the shade Sugar Sugar. This was one of my favorites. I used the shit out of this lip gloss. These are another gloss that's like pure glass on your lips, they're so beautiful. So that one right there, that's going to be the shade Sugar Sugar. And then another lip gloss is going to be the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 006. I forget the actual name of this, but this, oh my God, I wasn't gonna buy it because it's so expensive and I don't love the applicator, but it's like once it's on your lips, you just feel so fucking bougie with it. It's like the perfect nude lip gloss. You could like from swatching them, they don't really look different, but that one does give you like a little bit of like that tingling or not, not really tingling. It gives you like a slight plumping effect. These Sephora ones though, they give you that tingling sensation. And then the Marc Jacobs ones give you like, they have like a minty taste to them, but I don't really get the tingle from them. So I really love all those. And then the Dior one, that's like the time I would take advantage of the sale and just, I love, I love glosses. Glosses and highlighters are like my favorite makeup products ever. I love them. And then the last lip gloss is going to be the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs. I fucking love these. I will buy every single one that they come out with. My favorite though, is the shade Fussy. I used to love the original Fenty Glow, but the more that I wear Fussy, I love it so much. And I mean, I love all of them, let's be honest. I am wearing the shade Fenty Glow right now. I'm gonna swatch all of them for you just so you can see. I feel like on some skin tones, Fenty Glow can pull a little bit orange. I actually heard Samantha March say that the other day. She doesn't love the original just because it pulls more orange on her. I don't experience that. I feel like it pulls true nude on me. The only one that I see really issues with is the diamond milk on darker complexions because it does tend to pull like white because it does have little white glitters in there. So that will be all three of those on the bottom. So you have Fussy is going to be over here. It's more of a true pink. Then you have the nude in the center, which is Fenty Glow and then the diamond milk. They're my favorite lip gloss formula of all time. They do have like micro glitters in there, but they don't have that like gritty. You don't even feel them. They're just, oh, they're so good. Like if I were to pick one gloss to get, 
this is it. They're so, so bomb. And then one more lip product I want to mention is this Lancome Juicy Shaker. I would typically buy these at Ulta, but I think these are really just beautiful. I think YSL has like a lip oil too. YSL is a brand I need to get into more because I feel like they're on that same like luxury level as like Hourglass and Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Can you guys tell I'm eyeing the luxury brands lately? So this is what the shade Piece of Cake looks like. It's just a really beautiful lip oil. It's so comfortable on the lips. I do feel like you have to reapply these a lot, but they feel so good on the lips. So they're a little bit more of a pain in the butt, but if you just keep it in your pocket and then it looks like a little mixer, it's so cute. And that is going to be everything for my Sephora recommendations for the spring VIB sale of 2019. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway and leave a comment down below of the product you would recommend the most. Let me know what you guys are interested in. Let me know what you guys want to see videos on. All that sort of shit, let me know. And I don't have time to film my wish list video. And let's be honest, my wish list is unreal at this point. So I will be doing a haul video as soon as I pick up my first order, which I do plan on going in store tomorrow. So hopefully that will be posted either tomorrow or Saturday. So stay tuned for that. And I do believe it's going to be a collaboration video. So so excited because that will be my first YouTube collab as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Boom.